definitely can break me down and that's something I know. It's something I acknowledge. It's something I work on. But my gut is my gut. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know what I'm feeling. I know what I'm feeling is right. I know your treatment of me is wrong. Me overreacting doesn't take away from that. It just takes, it just gives you power. It allows you to put me in a, in an unhappy space, in a negative space. It allows me to be something that I don't want to be. And that I have to take my own accountability for, but it doesn't take away from the fact that your treatment is still wrong. It doesn't take away from the fact of I am unhappy because of something that you are doing and um, there was a tweet um, uh, a while back that I saw that really um, that really sat that really resonated with me that I thought you know made perfect sense I want to make sure I quote it properly because I don't want to say something I don't not that anybody I don't know next thing you know people like black twitter is like Oh, you said it wrong. Um, but the tweet said, if you betray your partner's trust, it is your job to assist in their healing through patience, empathy, transparency, and love because they wouldn't be in that position if it weren't for your actions, right? So I'm going to take the role of both parties. So, right, if I'm the person who's who was, um, whose trust was, um, you know, broken. And this can really be for a friendship or relationship, but I'm just saying in general, if I'm the person whose trust was broken and I choose to stay friends with you, right. Or I choose to stay in this relationship with you. That is a choice I made. I'm going to take that accountability, right? This person hurt me, but I am choosing to try to forgive them. I am choosing to move forward and by moving forward, whether that is couple, counseling, solo counseling, you know, maybe taking a small break because I'm not a huge fan on the break, but that's a whole nother thing. But maybe taking a small break just to see, just to acknowledge how you are feeling about this and, 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 and why they cheated too, right? Because some people cheat, you know, because they can, I'm, we're not going to sit here and act like everybody's in some miserable relationship and they are just cheating. But no, some people are just, that's just what they do. But I'm talking about maybe if this was the first time and how did they get there? Right. So all of these things, the person who, whose trust was um, broken has to take into effect. And that if you decide to stay in this friendship or stay in this relationship, at some point you have to let it go. You will never forget it because that, that is the fact we don't forget, um, when someone hurts us, when someone takes our, you know, when someone breaks our trust, but you can move forward and forgive. And then, you know, two, three years from now, we should not still be hearing about it. Right. And then on the flip side, if I'm the person who did the action, whatever it is, it does, like I said, friendship or relationship, whatever I did to have this person, um, trust broken. I have to take the accountability that this person may need some space from me. This person may need me to do a little extra effort, whether that it's call them, whether that it's text them, whether that is, you know, maybe I was going every Saturday, I was going out with the girls or with the fellas. And now, you know, okay, we're not going to do this every Saturday. Now, whatever you have to do, because guess what? You did it right. You have to take accountability. Hey, I did this because of this. This is the, uh, uh, this is the effect of what I did. So I have to somehow, you know, acknowledge that, accept it and do what I need to do. Now, do I have to? No, maybe you say, you know what? I did fuck up. And I, going forward with the next person or with the next friendship, I'm not going to do this, but I'm not willing to do what you need me to do to get back your trust. And that's okay as well. But you have to have that discussion, right? We both have to have this discussion about what we are willing and not willing to do because of inaction. And th this is all back to communication. And really, to be honest, this is my biggest thing, not being able to communicate and not being able to get uh, 
communicated to about things, not being able to have a discussion with someone and really break down whatever the issue is. And sometimes the, the end of the discussion means it's the end of us and that's okay. Now it doesn't mean you're not going to be sad. It's, it doesn't mean that you're going to have moments where you're going to miss this person. Once again, friendship or relationship. I have had to let go of friends, legitimate platonic friends, because at some point this friendship just wasn't healthy for me anymore. It just wasn't beneficial. It wasn't a bringing anything to me and I had to let it go but guess what we had to have that discussion and not all of them some of them ended with an argument where you know both of us were going to be hard-headed neither one of us were going to uh allow the other person to express whatever they felt and that's okay too but it's still a discussion it's still a, a conversation that had it just maybe maybe not wasn't a healthy conversation or wasn't productive but it still had an ending we both knew after that argument where this friendship was nowhere you know what I'm saying and so I think I'm finding it hard because I'm not able to get that and th actually there was something else on Twitter you know Twitter I, I love me some Twitter there was something else on Twitter that I saw and I, I, I don't got time to search for it but it also said I love I resignate or said something like I resonate with the people or or my people are the people for the why right because those who say just because there's never a just because anyone who tells you that it's just because one or two things one they're not being honest with themselves you know what I'm saying so they know why but they're not honest with themselves so they cannot tell you because if they're not acknowledging it th themselves they're not going to tell you so you can acknowledge it or two the fear right because maybe part of it is that they don't want to let you go or they don't know what they want. So if they tell you the why, they know what you're going to do. They know your reaction. They may know that you're going to say, okay, well then this is not for me. This friendship isn't for me. This relationship isn't for me. So if I tell you, I'm possibly going to lose you and I'm not ready for that either, right? So I just tell you just because. Because that keeps you in limbo. That keeps you in a position to not you know, to not let go or, you know, or you can still let go, but in their mind, eh, are you really going to let go if you don't, if you're not a hundred percent aware of all the facts, right? If you don't have all the facts to the issue, you're still pondering. So they, that is them able to hold on to you. And so, and that is me. I am someone who, who does like the why I am someone who does like a closure. I want to know, you know, what your take on this was. I'm open to hearing what Ever it is and if it ends with us both acknowledging that we're just not going to get what we want what we need then that's okay um but I, I guess I have to come to the realization that everyone's not going to give you a why, right? Everyone is not going to own that and be honest with you and say hey this is it and um and you have to accept that and that and I you know that's where um that's that's the difficulty I'm having. I'm having the difficulty of of not acknowledging and not walking away from people who are just not going to give me the reasons why they're why it's behind why the actions are what they are. And and I you know, I don't know how to move forward because it's very hard for me. I am and, and this is me bigging up myself. And who else is going to big you up if you don't big up yourself? But um, I know the type of person I am. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm human like the rest of us. I have made mistakes. I have hurt people's feelings. Um, I, I, you know, I have said things that I did not mean, and I've also said things that I have meant, but I shouldn't have said, you know, or even said it in the manner that I said it in. But never and I and I you know you guys don't know me unless there are people who are listening that do know me and I appreciate that but when I tell you that my heart literally is always um always open always for you know bigging other people up being there for other people I always want to give and I'm gonna be honest I don't have to get I really really don't and I've been this way that my whole life I'm always okay with 
with fighting for the underdog and the and the 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 bully I'm, because I feel like if you're a bully there's trauma behind there there's a reason why and we can't explain everybody's action like I said there are evil people in this world that, that just it is what it is there are fu- some fucked up people in this world and there is really no explanation for what they do but for the rest of us you know who who don't wake up in the morning um, wanting to hurt someone who don't wake up in the morning help hoping that we are the reason why someone is having a bad day the rest of us we we know that that is not what I want I always want to be there I want to root on I want that and I honestly feel like I never truly get that from anyone except and I'm gonna say you know except for my family I have such amazing family members and just you know once again just like everybody else you got family who's gonna do what they want to do but overall I have such a great family with, with whatever mistakes that they have made. And I don't care because that that's what it is. It's a mistake. We live and we learn. And I have such good friends and the, the ones that are here today, because like I said, over my years, I have had to let go of some, it just is what it is. And I've accepted it. And their friendship at whatever time it was, was meaningful. I loved it, the memories, and I would never replace it or take it back. But the ones I have right now, um, are amazing um but my personal life fucking sucks guys like (laughs) it's a hot fucking mess it's a mess and um I'm, I'm trying to navigate how I keep getting here you know what I'm saying like it's 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 just been rough and um you know, I and I, I'm just trying to figure it out. And, you know, if anyone else, you know, you are figuring, if, if, matter of fact, if anyone else is going through the ending of a relationship or a divorce, th- you are the people that I'm talking to. I'm not talking to you single people and, and I'm not talking to you happily married people <laughs> because, um, you know, m- my marriage is over and, you know, it's, it's ending or wh- whatever. It is over and, um, uh, it is, it's, it, and it's just like, you know, what, what, how do you get here? You know, like how, how do you let go of, um, I, I, I just don't want to be here. I'm, I'm tired of having to figure out how to let go. You know what I'm saying? I want to get to the point where, um, uh, you know what, I, I want to give an example of where, what initially could have went somewhere or whatever. So, um, I went on a date with this guy years ago. Um, we met at a birthday party that I literally, this was a birthday party. So there was nothing in my mind that said I was going to meet somebody. Right. And, but that's how I met him. And, um, I don't, I do remember how we ended up talking, but that's neither here nor there. We end up sparking up a conversation and really hitting it off. When I say hitting it off, I mean hitting it off. I'm going to be honest and say I don't think I've hit it off initially with someone like this that I didn't even have an initial attraction to because I didn't have a chance to decide whether I was attracted to him or not because we just started conversating. So, um, and I am someone who personality is always big for me. Um, so I'm not saying like I don't like you know whatever looks are you know what looks are looks right there are plenty of hot people in this world I've dated some really hot guys and I've dated some really hot women but what I'm saying is if I was walking down the street I probably wouldn't have paid him any attention because he wasn't the what I'm usually attracted to just attraction but because we ended up talking and I never got around to saying oh he's cute or not cute whatever I ended up being attracted to him based off of his personality and I'm big on personality that is really how you keep me, which is probably the problem too. But anyway, so the point is, is that we ended up, you know, really getting, really talking at this party and we end up going on three dates, but that's it, right? So the first date was great. The same thing, conversation the whole night. I mean, we must have talked about, I mean, I feel like we talked about everything on this date, childhood, you know, school, adult relationships, whatever, whatever, whatever. I feel like we talked about a lot. And then the second date, same thing, really good conversation. Um, and, and all three dates, I want to point out that he planned, 
uh, he called me, he texted me, I called him, I texted him. You could tell that, you know, b because the dates weren't back to back to back. They were like maybe, let's say there was the, the so we met, we talked for a little bit. I don't know. I, I want to say, I think, let's just say we talked for two weeks after the party, right? And then two weeks later, we had the first date. And then possibly maybe another two weeks after that, we had the second date. And then maybe same thing. Maybe there was like a two week, two week time frame between each date. Because as I've explained to you, I am a single mom. Um, I w had a full-time job and I was going to school. So I all of that plays in a role. So, you know, I just can't be going on dates. But anyway, so we...